Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, in honor of its 50th anniversary, I'm going to review the second animated primetime special, Charlie Brown's All-Stars. As you can see here, I'm actually wearing the player shirt, Yeah, as you may already saw in, in one of my recent videos, far back. <laughs> now, I do have this special on DVD that came with Lucy Must Be Traded Charlie Brown which is a special that aired back in 2003 on ABC it was a brand new special at the time it also includes uh, its spring training Charlie Brown another baseball special I also have this on the Peanut 60s collection it stars Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown Sally Dreyer as Lucy Van Pelt Chris Rochea as Linus Van Pelt, Kathy Steinberg as Sally Brown, Bill Melendez as Snoopy, with Anne Altery as Frida, Glenn Mendelson as Schroeder, Lynn Benderlip as Patty, Gail DeFerrar as Shermie, Jeffrey Arnstein as Pigpen, and Kara Mendelson as Violet. It was created by Charles M. Schultz who's behind the Peanuts comic strips and is directed by Bill Melendez. The special begins after Charlie Brown's baseball team had lost the first game of the season which the other baseball team had won 123 points while his team only lost to zero. So his team decided to quit in disgust while already feeling frustrated and depressed Charlie Brown decided to run her around until Linus had brought them the good news that Mr. Hennessy, who owns the hardware store, has about to sponsor Charlie Brown's baseball team by placing them into an organized league and be able to get new uniforms. So this would definitely be the good news for Charlie Brown to tell his team so that way they'll be able to earn them if they win all their games. But of course, they don't care. They don't want to be involved in this and they don't want to be dealing with baseball. And they rather have fun during the summer, which Linus basically just fills up the swimming pool. Yeah, with Snoopy, of course, uh, wants up going surfing. Yeah, in fact, they had that shot that would later be reused in Snoopy Come Home. You know, like he was surfing in the beach, as he really imagined. So <laughs> that was fun. Of course, with Sally wearing a bikini bathing suit, you know, trying to flirt with Linus. She, like, she always does, because she's always in love with Linus. <laughs> yeah. Well, Schroeder, Shermie, I forget the other kid's name, but it didn't even say it anyway, so, nevertheless. Yeah, yeah they were on their skateboards. You know, just having fun while Lucy, Violet, and Frida are just playing their jump ropes. Just as soon as Charlie Brown arrives, just to tell them the good news. But, of course, they refuse to listen. So then, the next day, Charlie Brown had a call from Mr. Hennessy, only to find out that in order for them to get the uniforms, they had to get rid of the girls and a dog. So they're not allowed. It's only just boys. So that's a shame. So Charlie Brown tries to tell them the bad news, but once again, they refuse to listen. But they thought, well, they might as well just play baseball anyway, even though they knew what's going to happen next. So they decided they'll just continue to, to start out the game, which basically picks up okay for a while, which Snoopy successfully steals second, third and home. And Charlie Brown was attempt to do exactly the same way, hoping this this will definitely earn their chance to win their baseball game. But unfortunately, he lost, sadly. Until Linus finally found out the truth about what's going on. And then, after all of this, the girls decided to make a uniform for Charlie Brown by using Linus's blanket. Hopefully the next day that Charlie Brown will be cheered up again. 
be able to win the game this time around to see what happens. <laughs> but then the next day, it was raining. And then Charlie Brown is the only one that's standing on the pitcher's mound while wearing the the our manager's shirt that's been created. And while Lions is feeling very shivering because he's already, you know, nervous and and just sad because because <laughs> they just made his uniform out of his blanket. So Linus is just sucking out of his thumb and just took uh, <laughs> just half of what the blanket uh, the Charlie Brown is and just uh, and they're just standing together while the rain is pouring yeah, during the closing credits. So There you go. Yeah now just to keep that in mind though I love the special considering this is the second special after the Charlie Brown Christmas special that we had because they know they wanted to get a second one so there you go but man I mean once again just like all the other specials that came afterwards so seeing that this is the second one they've been treating Charlie Brown like shit all this time I mean, it seems to me like that's exactly what they're coming up with for a baseball episode. It's where the Peanuts game treating Charlie Brown like shit. Yeah, excuse my language, but that's why I had to say it. <laughs> I mean, Charlie Brown is just doing his best just to keep the team organized, trying to win from losing because they've been they've been on their losing streak for a long time, and. It just seems like this is exactly what they've been going for. Yeah, because I know Charlie Brown's always been, you know, the loser. But yet, no matter what he does, you know, he never gives up. I mean, no matter how hard he tries. And that's the problem with, with the special. The jerks. They don't care. They, they don't even care anyway because... It, it's funny, too, because not only did they lose the games, it was because... They never pay attention. You know, Lucy, you know, Frida, and even Violet, they never even pay attention at all. They're just going around talking about, oh, they're going to go to a party or, you know, hang around, do all this other stuff. And they never pay attention. Although, for some dumb luck reason, somehow Lucy did actually catch the ball as it just appeared magically on her glove. Yeah, and Snoopy's even worse. Yeah, because you just want to have a supper time right in the middle of a ball game. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, I think the problem is they really need to start working together as a team and stop acting like a bunch of jerks to Charlie Brown because technically it's not really his fault. And I know there was a scene at the beginning of, of the special where you know Charlie Brown was trying his best to catch a home run and he has to run around all the way up to the bleachers and then later started to run around you know trying to go up to the, the apartment you know trying to see if he can catch a ball from the window yeah which that in came and then then he won he wanders around all the way through the the alley and then later he went all the way straight to to Frida, Violet and Lucy just playing jump rope. He was jumping around, then he went all the way to his house and went all the way outside just to grab the ball and then next we know he almost catch the ball from his glove and it bounced off. Yeah. And they called him a blockhead. That sucks. <laughs> and it definitely did the same thing during the first game of the season and then they did it just when he was about to become a hero by sliding down all the way home they lost the game unbelievable yeah it does learn a lesson right there that no matter how hard they try they're always going to do it again but even if he is you know considered to be a loser that's just the problem. I mean, they had to treat Charlie Brown like a goat.
But I'm actually more happy that at least, you know, Linus actually stand up against him because of what's going on. And then, and then Schroeder would later berate him as to all the causes this has been going for. And I'm glad they did that. But surprisingly enough, they actually had a book that came out just around the same time as this. The difference is, the book actually says that only Linus was the one who actually berate them for having Charlie Brown having to work this hard to try to offer the, the contract from Mr. Hennessy to to get them new uniforms but of course he refuses he didn't want to deal with it because he didn't want to lose the girls and, and his dog so he's doing his best of course they had to switch around so instead of Linus saying that to the girls which I know he did I mean during that last moment but then it just they just got Schroeder to say it uh, for the special. So that's interesting. Also, Coca Cola and Dolly Madison had sponsored the special during the opening credits. You know where they showed Charlie Brown already feeling uh, guilty after and you know, he lost the ball just when he went inside the fence, and then you saw the sponsorships. Yeah, you can only find that on YouTube or any other site. But in spite of that. I did enjoy it for what it's worth. So I give Charlie Brown's All Stars four stars. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and I'll see you later. Bye.